At least two indigenous protesters have been killed in the ongoing anti-government protests in Ecuador. The second death was reported on June 22nd. A member of the Kishwa indigenous group died while participating in a roadblock. According to a lawyer with the Alliance for Human Rights Organization, the man was hit in the face apparently with a tear gas bomb. Since June 13th, hundreds of thousands of Ecuadorians have been mobilizing across the country as a part of an indefinite national strike against the right-wing government of President Guillermo Lasso. Since then, protesters have faced widespread repression and violence by the security forces of the country. Hundreds of people have been injured and at least 79 have been detained. Ecuadorians are mobilizing against the Lasso government's anti-people economic policies. The strike was called for by various indigenous, peasant and social organizations with a set of 10 demands that address the most urgent needs of the majority of Ecuador's population. These include freezing fuel prices, adopting an agricultural subsidy, greater budget for public education and health, and not signing free trade agreements that destroy national production. Le queremos decir al presidente de la República, usted está preocupado de la producción. Nosotros también estamos preocupados de la producción. Ustedes están preocupados de la tasa de ganancia. Nosotros no estamos preocupados de la tasa de ganancia. Estamos preocupados sobre la sobrevivencia de nuestras economías. Así que en este punto, usted y nosotros estamos preocupados de la producción. Para garantizar la producción, necesariamente debe responder los 10 puntos. Si no, ustedes garantizan la tasa de ganancia que es su mayor preocupación y esa crisis que genera esa tasa de ganancia, como en el tema del sistema financiero, 123% han ganado. Dejen de ganar un momento y también preocupemos en este caso del bolsillo de los más pobres que estamos produciendo. El gobierno no ha hecho un buen manejo de la política pública para resolver las diferentes dificultades que nos aquejan como país, que nos aquejan como sociedad. Y en ese aspecto también estamos en contra del alto costo de la vida, que ha sido la expresión de la incapacidad, de la indolencia del gobierno neoliberal de Lazo. On Saturday, June 18th, President Lazo declared a state of emergency in the Pichincha, Cotopaxi and Imbabura provinces where protests had been the strongest. He increased the military presence in these provinces and suspended various constitutional rights. Nevertheless, defying the state of emergency and enduring brutal police and military repression, hundreds of thousands continue to remain on the streets against neoliberalism. The Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities of Ecuador, or CONEI, one of the main organizers of the strike, has declared that the strike will continue until their demands are accepted. According to Konei, indigenous communities have been maintaining roadblocks in at least 16 of the 24 provinces of the country since last Monday. On the eighth day of the strike, Konei reported that indigenous people from all parts of the country had been arriving in Quito to press for their demands. Konei said in a statement, In a state of law and democracy, human rights are not violated, nor is violence, police and military repression legitimized. In the rule of law, the right to protest is guaranteed. The opposition sectors in Ecuador have slammed the Lasso government for resorting to repression and violence instead of dialogue to deal with the situation. The opposition-controlled National Assembly has passed a resolution urging the government to dialogue with the indigenous organizations and other sectors. The Congress also called on international organizations such as the UN, the Red Cross and the Catholic Church to attend the negotiations and propose mechanisms to solve the crisis.